uh, just persistently higher inflation uh, than was expected. This week, you had some uh, numbers on salaries being higher than uh, I think the markets expected. That's led uh, some of the major banks to withdraw mortgages from the market uh, for the markets. I think a combination of all of that will be uh, uh, will be what we hear about in the next half an hour. Yeah, the cost, the government cost of borrowing hitting this new high. You know, it, the potential impact on on people's mortgage rates is you know can't be underestimated can it uh the speaker is on his feet uh let's listen in prime minister's questions it's getting underway mr speaker i know the whole house will want to thank the emergency services for their ongoing response to the shocking incident in nottingham yesterday our thoughts are with those injured and with the families of those who lost their lives today is also the sixth anniversary of the grenfell tower fire we remember the 72 people who lost their lives and remain as committed as ever to ensuring that such a tragedy can never happen again. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, this morning I had meetings with ministerial colleagues and others. In addition to my duties in this House, I shall have further such meetings later today. Lynn Brown. Grateful, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. Can I associate myself with the words of the Prime Minister? Our hearts are with the City of Nottingham, and we also remember those 72 killed at Grenfell and support those still fighting for justice yeah. and safe homes. According to the Office of National Statistics, in January, food prices were rising at 16.8% a year. The most recent figures show food prices rising by a whopping 19.1%, making a mockery of his pledge to halve inflation. Does he honestly think people won't notice? Mr. Speaker, of, of course, I acknowledge that the cost of living is rising for families, and that's why my first priority at the beginning of the year is to halve inflation. I'm pleased to say that inflation is now falling, and in the latest set of estimates, we remain on track uh, to do so. With regard to food prices, we're not alone in experiencing high food price inflation, like many other countries in Europe. That's why the Chancellor has already spoken to the CMA, who are looking at the grocery industry, and we continue to support families with the cost of living, notably by paying half of their energy bills. Yeah. Paul Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's a fact that Labour have never left government with unemployment lower than when they came in. And figures released yesterday show that there are now four million more people in work than when Labour were last in power. Does the Prime Minister agree that the security of a good job will always be better than Labour's dependency culture? Mr. Speaker, my honourable friend is absolutely right uh, to point out Labour's poor record on jobs. And yesterday's figures showed that the UK economy is resilient, with the number of people in employment now at a record level, yeah. Mr. Speaker. While by no means complacent, but the inactivity rate continues to fall and the unemployment rate remains at historically low levels. That is a Conservative government delivering for our country. We now come to the leader of the opposition, Keir Starmer. I join with the Prime